What are some of, if any, some of the special stories that your dad has shared from his days? The goal, life? remember the goal Papa scored? <laughs> <laughs> he tells me he's a king here. Oh. <laughs> Is that true? Um, look, obviously it helps him that he won the golden shoe, yeah. Welcome in to the magnificent city of Bruges, situated northwest of the Belgian capital, Brussels. It is commonly referred to as the Venice of the North, but most importantly, it is also home to an Australian football icon. If you don't know who that is, let's go meet him. So it's none other than my very good friend, Paolo Ocon. Paolo, thank you for having me. You promised me a visit to this magnificent city and here we are. Welcome to Bruges. Thank you for having me. Now, you've told me how much you love life here. Can you put it into words what makes it so special to live here in Bruges? Yeah, look, it's an amazing city. There's so much beauty, there's so much art. There's a lot and lot of culture. From, from that perspective, we as a family love living here. As a player, as you can imagine, you're only focused on training and playing and performing at your best, whereas now, obviously, you probably appreciate things a little, a little bit more. And when the children are in school, I do get about um, and, you know, visit a lot of these uh, beautiful things. Belgium uh, has a lot of similarities to Australia. Uh, probably the only thing that the miles apart is, is the weather. You know, Belgium was very kind to me, certainly at the beginning when I um, arrived here. And of course, many Australian players have had really, really good starts to their career and gone on uh, to bigger things. You know, Eddie Krenchevich, he was the first Australian, the pioneer here in Belgium. You know, had a, a great career at Anderlecht and sort of opened the doors. And then, of course, Frank Farina had, you know, two great years before moving on to Bari. And I think Belgians love the Australian mentality that uh, never take a backward step, you know, always fighting, you know, hungry to do well. And your son, your eldest son, how important was it for him to come here at this stage of his career? He said to me he wants to become a, a professional footballer, so if that's the case, let's let's go to Europe as soon as possible and put you in that environment and, and, and get you uh, integrated as, as soon as possible. He is under no illusions how tough it is and how difficult it is. It's a constant battle, but like with anything in life, if you want to succeed, you have to uh, be mentally strong and, and overcome whatever's thrown at you. Well, the, the question that gets always asked to us is about you know him following in my footsteps. And you know, it's simple. He, he's got his own character, his own personality, um, and he needs to forge his own, his own path. From, from my side, there is zero pressure. Paul, tell me, you're back here in Belgium. How is it to be back here in this special place? Uh, look, obviously it's uh, really special to be back in the place where I was born. I feel like I've always had a special connection with this place. And it's just a, such an honor to be in such a professional environment. And as a parent on the sidelines, how is he? Is he cool and calm? He's obviously played and managed, but watching you, how, how is he? And does he provide you some good feedback after matches? Um, look, obviously during the game, I know where to find him and my, and my mum. But I think he's uh, quite calm on the sideline. Obviously I know when, when I'm playing good or playing bad during the game, I just have to look at him. On the way home, I get a lot of feedback. I'm always honest, probably too honest. And I never look at my children when they're playing football. It's through the eyes of a parent, it's always through the eyes of, of a coach. All right, so as a player, how do you like to play your football? Um, I like to play as a... Uh, uh, defensive midfielder, so as a six, I like to get on onto the ball and uh, help my team for a build-up. I try to emulate my game after Frankie De Jong. I would love to play in, uh, you know, the big leagues. It's a, it's a big dream of mine. Paul, can you introduce your brothers here? We're here with the, the, all four of you. The first one, his name is Alessandro, and the second one is Davide, and the third one is Gianluca. And everyone at Club Rouge. Yes, everyone plays there. Your passion for football, where did it begin? I think it started through my grandfather. He used to take me to the football field and I was just watching, watching the kids play and that's where my love for football started. Do you have a favourite player in football at the moment? Aside from maybe your dad? Yeah, Xavi. And lastly, what do you love about your life here in Belgium? It's great to live in Europe. It's, it's different. It's just, I think it's the best opportunity become a professional football player. Beautiful. Well, we wish you, of course, the very best of luck with that. Thank you for sharing some wonderful insight with us today. And we hope to, of course, see you again soon.